Today, I have numbed up with my Viana Care numbing cream. I have my touch up, my miracle touch up that I'm going to be doing. I have my needles here. I also have some PDO threads that I plan on going up to give them, just hold my face up. In three days, I'm turning 28, so I'm trying to keep myself up and taut and tight. So I have the PDO threads here. I'm all numbed up. Um, but first, I'm going to go ahead and fill my syringes with my miracle touch shop. Everything is sanitized. Everything is clean. Y'all, so look at it. <laughs> I'm looking like a botched BBL patient on my cheeks. And here is my 40 millimeter needle. I'm gonna take this off. Laser, sorry, there's a piece of hair. My hair. All right, so we're gonna push the air into it just to help get the product out. Flip. is not doing this properly at all <laughs> but Pressure. You will slowly suck in that product. If you 
don't have the seal still on it. So to create that pressure vacuum, so syringe. So slowly pull back and then kind of pull slowly. six injections in this cheek area hopefully the miracle touch-up goes ahead and stimulates it's a liquid facelift but i would like to hopefully that it will stimulate some of this um, to correct some of that hyperpigmentation um, smooth my skin is so I want to see like the combination of the salmon DNA and the miracle touch-up liquid PCL video and this is just for entertainment purposes only this is only for entertainment purposes only this is me going on a skincare journey to get rid of my hyperpigmentation that I've had basically since high school entertainment purposes only i'm not a professional i am a girl who loves skincare who doesn't want to pay the doctor's prices that is all
So hi guys, coming to you from the car. And as you can see, I look like a freaking chipmunk. Look at me, chipmunk city. This is after I did the liquid PCO Miracle Touch. So hey guys, coming to you from the car to show you a little, about three to four hours later after my liquid Miracle Touch liquid facelift showing my face and I am a chipmunk. I look like I got beat up. Whatever happened, I lost the fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, she definitely got her lick in and she was a force to be reckoned with. Like, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt anything. But I did, like, I took a double take um, while looking in my fold down, flop down mirror. Like, ooh! Oh, girl. Oh, I don't know what you said, but she popped your ass for it. Because that's what this looks like right here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come and show you. It's not painful. It's, well, then, please drive up and get in there. But anyway, it's not um, painful at all. It's a little tight. But do you see that swelling? You see that swellification right now. But hopefully these immune responses um, and everything settle and get it together. So it goes ahead and triggers that collagen and all that good jazz that I need to be triggered to get my face together. Um, hopefully it does. But yeah, this is the result. Um, swelling from my miso therapy. But I just wanted to show you, come to you. So I thought that maybe doing a little ass tag healing clay mask will mm. I have nothing else to say really about me and my decisions that I make, the choices I make, you know. I look kind of cute though, I'm not gonna lie. It's not necessarily cute, but I look kind of cute. But I need my face to come back down. Hey guys, welcome back to And There's More. And I've just finished doing my Miracle Touch Up PCL Liquid Facelift. So I am in the process of now doing my PDO threads. I'm probably just gonna do two on one side, two on the other. I just want to do this to stimulate that collagen underneath my epidermis or within the skin layer so I can get the cell rejuvenation happening so I can clear up some of these older acne scars that I have had for years, since the 2000s. So, here are my mono PDO threads. And like I said, I just did my Miracle L touch up. I have one more left from a previous treatment. And like I said, I'm not going to do many. Here. Facial artery is somewhere right in this location. I'm just gonna go straight up. And I'm just doing this so I can just pull my skin up just to keep my skin up and taut. I'll be turning 28 in a couple days. So my whole purpose of this journey is to keep my skin up, taut, tight, to keep the collagen and elastin production high, keep my hyaluronic acid production high within your skin. Because as you know, as you age, you stop producing as much hyaluronic acid within your skin, elastin and collagen. Therefore, wrinkles, looking dry, looking dusty, not looking too cute, gotta stay popping, gotta stay looking fresh. Shout out to Laura because I love her threads and I love how she takes care of herself and her body. So that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to stay together. So here we are. No specific direction. I just want to keep my face up. Okay, I'm in. Push up.
boom and easy peasy lemon squeezy pediocytes are a lot easier than injections i don't know why with the nerves uh, maybe because maybe the fat pads within your face here we go another one i'm just going straight up i just want to keep my face up and taut i'm not really aiming to really build any collagen my whole point is i'm 20 in the 20s late 20s so i just want to keep everything up keep it going keep it producing keep it working so let's go here and There's a needle right there. Keep pushing up. So see, hopefully when it goes in and these PDO threads are below my epidermis or dermis or whichever layer is within, and it's going to start triggering and I can get those deep hyperpigmentation scars to go ahead and, you know, go. Okay, puberty was a long time ago. Release me. Pulling down helps. If you start to feel anything, angle it. Go this way, this way, this way. Don't pull back out. Try to weave it, snake it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I may have touched something, but I just turned it a little and went to the direction. So I'm gonna leave that in, so just in case that may possibly be a bleeder. So I'm gonna let that sit. So I done three on this side. I'm gonna go, so you see where my hyperpigmentation is, I'm just trying to get with under underneath that pad. So I'm gonna go on this side as well. You see, I was angling, I felt something there. I believe I went too close to that column where the facial artery may be. Was not paying attention to my positioning. But yeah, angle it. Angle that, angle it. All right, let's go, keep going. Alright, 
I did it a little lower on this side, but it's okay. I don't know if I'm numb enough in this region, but I may try one going in this direction. Let's see, I'm gonna try one, one going here, one going there. Let's see. I'm able to put one in one. Bro, literally, my face is so numb, can't even feel my nose run. All right, I'm gonna do one more going in this direction and then we're done with PDO threads and then we're gonna remove them. And then I'm probably gonna do a nice facial mask. So there we are guys. How it look? It might keep pull down. Twist. Pull down. No threads left. Twist. Pull down. Twist. Pull out. So there you have it ladies, another segment of self-care principalities with And There's More. I'm your host Demi. Follow me along on this skincare journey. This is mesotherapy to get rid of old hyperpigmentation. Simple as that. Join me on this journey. Remember, only for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a doctor, a physician, not really certified. I did some medical courses in school, but I'm only doing this for me. Happy birthday to me. This is 28. After you do a PCL liquid facelift and your face swells up, this is what you do to get your face to go back down. But yeah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. But yeah, let me show you guys. Show you what it's looking like. Stick it in all crooked like. It's not that bad, but um, you can see. But I can definitely feel it draining right there. Down. What we do for beauty. But anyway, this is my face. It's going down though. Can't contour this, but I don't look too bad. 